So we got this DM from our listener, Catherine, and she was having some second thoughts about going out with this guy. She allowed us to give us a call and got her on the phone. Hi there. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hey, thanks so much for allowing us to give you a call about the message you sent us. Will you go ahead and just kind of fill us in here? Yeah, no, I appreciate you guys calling because I'm in a little bit of a, I don't know, a tricky situation. Um, so basically, uh, obviously, I see a gynecologist because I have lady parts. Yeah, hashtag <laughs> health. Uh, my, yeah, my health. And my gynecologist is away for this season. So they just um, linked me up with another gynecologist in the same office. Right. And I had never been to this doctor before, but I was like, okay, you know, it's, it's that time I really can't hold off. So I'll just go ahead and make the appointment, follow through with it, why not? Right. When I arrived there, it turns out that I was like, hold on, this gynecologist looks familiar. Oh, <laughs> no. I, I, yeah, well, 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 okay, we, we, we haven't, like, dated or anything, but, you know, I, I've seen him in wine in Starbucks, like, multiple <laughs> times. And every single time I've seen him, I've been like, this guy's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> and so I walk in and we both kind of recognize each other and we're both like, oh, hey, yeah, okay, cool. Right. Yeah, and not only is he the doctor that the office suggested, but I mean, he's so handsome and charming and like he's in his mid 30s. He's around my age. Yeah. And it, it was like kind of awkward going through the actual appointment and everything, but afterwards when I was paying, he came up to me. He asked me on a date, guys. <laughs> he asked you out? He asked me to go to dinner in a movie. Yes. And wow. I was, uh, in the moment, I was just like, yes, okay. You know, like, <laughs> a doctor's orders, you know? And <laughs> doctor's <laughs> orders. I, I don't know. I, 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 like, want to because I've had a crush on this guy who's been in line at service. But at the same time, I'm like, hold on, is this kind of weird? Like, he's already seen, seen stuff. Seen, yeah, he's seen you know, stuff. Yeah. He's already seen stuff. So oh. I don't know what to do. So I guess he was thinking, you know, hey, she's not my real patient, so this is not out of bounds. Because I would have to think that there's got to be some professionalism there in the medical community, right? Probably, yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so you're well, but asking... Well, gynecologists need love, too. Right. So you're asking, how weird is it for you to date someone who has worked on you? Worked yeah, on... Yeah, because it's, it's, it's not like I'm going to... Examined. I'm not going to, like, go and see him again as a doctor, right? Oh, right. Well, right, yeah, no, one. probably not. Well, yeah, no, I would I would imagine no. I, I say, hey, you know what, YOLO, go for it. Why not? Yes. <laughs> Especially if he's hot. Okay. That's all I <laughs> She's like, that's all I needed. <laughs> yep, nope, we're giving you the big high five. That, and then tell us how it goes. He sees lady parts all the time. so He it's does. Not, it's, it, it's more like being a factory worker, right? Well, I, let's let's not put... Catherine down here. I mean, I'm sure it's stop, more... Stop, stop it. It's stop. More than just stop. We don't need to be complimented like that. But, no. No, but I'm I'm just saying that that what he did in the examining room, that's that's clinical. That's his job. That's business. Right. That's business. Yeah. And so so I I think he can probably car- compartmentalize that. Well, and, it's obvious he can cuz he asked her out. Or maybe he can't, and that's why he asked her out. Oh, that that's true. <laughs> well, wait, why are we planting doubt already? She hasn't even gone on the first date yet. We're not. Don't plant doubt. I, you guys already gave me the go-ahead. I'm going to go. Okay, okay. good. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's stay. Let's live there. <laughs> let's live there. I, I love the fact, A, that you messaged us, B, that you allowed us to talk to you about this, because this is just, it, your, your life is fun, and we're happy to be along for the ride. And high five, because what a fun situation. High five. Thank you so much. Well, well, well now, Catherine, you're, you're definitely going to have to keep us posted. And yes. And if there is going to be a second date, and uh, if there oh, is anything. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I will. Awesome. I'm glad we could at least give you the reassurance to take that leap. Yes. I mean, why not? Me too. It's an unusual way you met. 
I'm not sure how we tell that story. Nah, you tell that story. <laughs> that's that's fun. <laughs> like my my uh, my boyfriend met um, parts of me way faster than other parts of me. <laughs> All right, Catherine, thank you so much for allowing us to chat. Thank you. You're welcome. Erica says he likes what he saw. He's hot and charming. All the green flags do it. (laughs) Yeah, I got another text from a listener who says, I mean, he knows his way around the territory. So He does. In a clinical way. Clinical. Yes, absolutely. It's clinical. No, It's clinical. I I, I don't. uh, As you and I both said to her, I, I don't see anything wrong with this. I don't either. I think this is a win-win. Do do we keep seeing him? Well, he was a fill-in doctor, so yeah. She said he's not. She's not going to see him again. Yes. Right. So I think way. that's good. Right. Yes. Right. So yes. All right. Well, hey, good luck, Catherine. Congratulations. Keep us posted. He's a doctor. It's nine nine seven DJX. <laughs>